Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Baby Olive is joining me for this part of the series and I'm going to be talking about hormones and managing them today. Some solutions for managing hormones. If you haven't seen the previous three videos like signs, are hormones bad and then causes, please do watch them as well because I think you'll find them all useful in combination. Thank you very much. Now it's important to remember that hormones are natural, they're part of our parrot's biology, and while we can't remove them completely, and we wouldn't really want to, we can manage them, we can mitigate their effects, and we can avoid inadvertently triggering them. So that's what I'm going to be talking about today in this video. Now the first place to look, and most important, is diet when you're talking about managing hormones. Now you want to be looking at your diet, is it mushy, is it warm, and are you providing too big a portion, and is it abundant in only one area? Is it all just seeded, is it all just pellets? Do you want a nice diverse diet with all sorts of fresh things which will help um, you manage your parrot's hormones? On top of that, you can actually supplement the diet to help with hormonal behaviour. For example, avian teas are proven to have an impact on hormonal behaviour. Chamomile is also very good because it has a mild calming effect. So if you can, watch some other videos and explore these topics too because Managing those portions, ensuring the food's not mushy or warm, and then looking at the supplements you can provide are all very, very helpful, aren't they, Baby Olive? Sleep is a very important area to look at when you're looking at managing parrot hormones. Now, parrots need about 12 hours of sleep normally, so if your parrot's getting less than that, you need to consider increasing it to that. And when we talk about sleep, we need 12 hours opportunity to sleep. They may not sleep for that entire period, but having the dark and conducive environment to sleep during that is very important. If your parrot is especially hormonal, you can actually increase this to 13 to 14 hours for a period, which may help shock them out of the hormonal cycle and also um, sort of trick them almost into thinking it's not breeding season. Looking at how we interact with our parrots is also exceptionally important. That means keeping our interactions calm and also observing how what messages we're giving to our parrots. That could be through inappropriate touching, so making sure that you're petting around the head and neck only. And also, when they're cuddling you, if you've got a cuddly power up species like a conya, for example, you're trying to cuddle towards the side and you're not really fully enclosing them or making repetitive petting motions. These all can lead to hormonal behavior. So if you can avoid these, you, you kind of got half the battle won because you're not causing the problem in the first place. For some parrots who are used to being petted, um, you can reduce the amount of cuddles and pets they get for a period. This may have a similar effect to increasing sleep because they start thinking, okay, um, they're not being quite as affectionate, so I will, it's not really breeding time basically. Looking at potential hormonal triggers in the environment and removing them is very important. That could be, for example, nesting sites. If you have a parrot going behind a sofa, blocking that off so they can't go there. Um, removing cozy huts or mirrors from cages because those are major causes within the cage environment. Things like that. Notice if there's any, oh, another big one. If there's a particular spot your parrot likes to rub on or be naughty with or a toy, maybe changing the location of that toy or um, just shifting things about a little bit to create a fresh environment because it may mix up things a bit and sort of almost again, like all of these things, kind of shock them out of the hormonal cycle. If you fully cover your bird, we wouldn't recommend that as well. And if you do have to cover your bird, because we understand different lifestyles need to, you could just go for partial covering where you only par uh, partially cover the top third of the cage. This does allow for airflow, which we think is important, but not really necessarily related to hormones. But it also does let some natural light in and allows a natural light cycle. On top of that as well, you can use blackout blinds if you've got like big beams of sunlights coming in through the windows and that allows you to more effectively manage their sleep as well because you can time when you take them off and put them on. You may not necessarily think it's linked to helping with hormones, but regular training and exercise work does help a lot because normally a tired and engaged parrot is a parrot less likely to be hormonal. It's something we often say during our consultations. So if you can do that extra training and make it regular, if you can make sure they're busy and tired, getting lots of flight, all sorts of training, that can help with it. And we are aware that every parrot is an individual. So for every single parrot, the way you manage their hormones or look at various factors is going to be slightly different. And that's kind of why we don't often do these kinds of videos. But I wanted to give you guys some catch-all solutions, the most common solutions, so you can try them at home and maybe help with any sort of hormonal problems you have. Remember, we are here if you need help with any parrot behavior problems. You know, you can always drop us a comment. If you need dedicated help or for us to look into the, your situation and come up with an action plan to help you, don't forget our business, Best Behaved Birds. 
we have a consultation service which we do remotely anywhere in the world. We do do in-home visits as well if it's like actually achievable and we can hopefully help. Remember the links in the description so if you need to check that out, do give it a look. So everyone, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found these videos useful in this series. If you haven't seen the previous videos in this series, do go back and watch them. Do like, do subscribe, do hit notifications. You know the spiel, it would help our channels a lot. That's both me and Sophie. But in the meantime, from me and baby Olive, take care and have a really nice day.